Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. We're back for the gear show and I know it's been a while, but we're here at La Zouche Climbing Wall just outside of Chamonix to look at some belay devices. Now, I'll be honest, for sport climbing, I have always used a Petzl Grigri ever since I started and I still do. This is my Grigri 2 and I've got a Grigri Plus that I sometimes use as well. I think this is brilliant. It's simple, it's easy to use, it's safe, and I've never felt the need to use anything else. That is until recently. Now, I had to test the climbing technology ClickUp for work. We did it as a pick of the week, and I thought I can't talk about it unless I know about it. So I've been using it, and I've been kind of surprised. So both these devices are a little bit similar. They're both belay devices, they're both assisted braking. So the real question is, why would you buy a ClickUp over a Grigri? Now this is Joe, he's one of my mates, he's come down to help me out today. Hello. Hello mate. Uh, basically he gets to climb for free while I test these out, which seemed like a good deal. So first up, the Petzl Grigri 2. Now there was a Petzl Grigri 1, which was bigger than this and couldn't have the range of ropes that this one can hold. This is the update, it's better in every way. Uh, and there's also a Grigri Plus, which has extra safety features. But this model is what most climbers will probably buy. Really simple to use. There's uh, directions written on it for where you put the rope. So you just thread the rope in, click it on, put it on your harness. So I'm gonna use this while Joe has a quick climb, uh, talk about how this works and the few little problems that this has. So the Grigri is pretty simple to use. You simply feed the rope through the device as the climber climbs. And if you wanna give a big chunk of slack, so Joe's about to clip, put my finger under, press with my thumb, give him a big chunk of slack, he makes the clip, and then you can bring in any slack from the device. It's pretty easy to use once you've got used to it, but it can be a bit of a fiddle, especially for someone who's a beginner, or you know one of those moments where the b is trying to clip and you didn't quite realize you have to hurry. It, it can be a bit fiddly like that. So the climber's at the top of the wall. I'm gonna show you what happens when he loads the system. So Joe, if you let go. Now, as you can see, the device has locked up so this little lever flicks up and it traps the rope in there. Now obviously with any assisted braking device you never, ever, ever, ever let go of the dead rope because you never know what might happen with this. But if I loosen my hand you can see that the device is doing most of the work to prevent the climber from hitting the ground. That's why it's assisted braking. As I lower him down I just open up the handle, feed the rope over this little metal ledge and bring him gently down to the ground. Now this is a good time to talk about one of the Grigri's failings and that is this handle. Now I know this is improved on the Grigri Plus, but the problem with the handle is, is sometimes you can panic. So if the, if the belayer was to open this handle up fully, that climber would hit the ground. And although all you need to do is let go of the handle, you'd be amazed how often climbers don't and there's an accident. Now there are some real advantages to this system. It's super easy to use once you get used to it, it's very safe, and the assisted braking means it's great to work a sport route. So when that climber is hanging around or dogging little bits of it, it's very easy to haul them up and lock the device off. And this is something I found with a few other assisted braking devices. They don't lock like a Grigri does. So pros, simple to use, easy, amazing, smooth, everything. Cons, it's not the most intuitive thing, especially if you're a beginner. And there is that possibility that if you panic, you're either gonna sort of short rope the climber or you're gonna lower them to the ground way too quickly, which I have seen happen. So let's talk about the click up. So this is the click up. Now straight away, there's a few advantages for this. It's cheaper than a Grigri. So on the Epic TV shop, a Grigri is 69.90. This is 58 euros, so it's cheaper. It's lighter than a Grigri by some grams that I have no idea, but it is lighter than a Grigri. And it also comes with its own carabiner. That's because climbing technology needs you to use a special size carabiner for the device to work. And this one prevents cross-loading by clipping your harness into this section here, which is a nice little touch. Now again, we did a really in-depth pick of the week video with the ClickUp. So if you wanna see how it works in minute detail, there's a link in the description below. But you take your rope and you thread it through exactly how you would in a normal ATC and there's pictures to help you with this. So rope up to the climber, you feed it through the device. Make sure that your carabiner is clipped in properly. As you can see, so it prevents cross-loading. And you just clip your carabiner through the device, through the rope, 
and put it on like this. Make sure the gate is screwed up. Now, one thing that is a bit of a problem is this carabiner can be a bit fiddly in this space. It'd be nice if it was a little bit longer, just because sometimes it kind of catches, but it's a minor thing that. So now we're ready to go. Joe the climber will climb up the wall and I do use this in exactly the same way as an ATC. So I feed it through, never let go of the brake rope and just slide up the rope to give slack. It's great because it's like an ATC. All right, Joe. Okay, so as Joe climbs, I simply feed the rope through the belay device like with a normal ATC. He wants a big bit of slack. I just give him a big chunk like I would normally on an ACC, making sure again that I never let go of this brake rope. So Joe, can you go up one more step and then just take a little fall? So this is how the device uh, assist, assists when it breaks. As you'll see in a minute, it will click up and forward. Okay, Joe. So you can see the device has clicked and it makes quite a distinctive click noise. It's locked the rope between the carabiner and the system and you can see if I loosen this off, it's holding it in exactly the same kind of way that a Grigri would. Okay, Joe, if you get back on the wall. To unlock it, I simply push it forwards and clip it down and then the climber is ready to carry on climbing. So Joe's reached the top of the wall and he's put his weight on the rope and immediately this thing locked up. And that's something that's good about this because you get other auto um, assisted braking devices that don't, as I said before, don't lock up as easily. This clicks in straight away, very similar to a Grigri. So I'm gonna bring Joe down now. Okay, Joe, I'm gonna lower you, mate. Now to do this, you simply never let go of the brake rope. You just push the device, this bottom bit, sort of downwards and a little bit forward. It, it's hard to describe. It's very easy when you're doing it because it makes sense. So as you can see, just push it a little bit forward. And if I ever want to stop him, I just let go. And what's good about this compared to a Grigri is there's not that open handle, closed handle style system. You can feel the biting and braking point really easily, a little bit better than a Grigri. So if I was a beginner and I was going way too fast, I started to panic. It's so simple just to back off a little tiny bit. So safety wise, I think this is brilliant. So for me, the biggest advantage with the ClickUp is just the intuitiveness of the design. Because it works like a belay device, it, it's very natural for me. And when you give slack, I simply just give him slack in the normal way and take it in in the normal way. There's not that moment with a Grigri where it feels a bit different to do it. It's just, it's just very normal. Now, one problem with this device that I have found is what happens when the climber falls and they quickly want to get back onto the wall. So, Joe, if you take a fall. So the device is linked up, he's jumping back on the wall and it can be a little bit sort of fiddly to give him that slack quickly, especially if he's right by a clip and it's locked and he immediately wants to make a clip. That can occasionally cause a little problem. Now it says on the device that it takes ropes from 8.6 to 10.5 millimeters. We're using a tendon master and I think it's 9.1. And that gives quite a nice balance between it moving through the device smoothly and still giving you enough friction so it feels safe. I have a feeling if you put something around about 10 or to 10.5 millimeters, it's gonna be a bit too grabby uh, to feed out slack nice and easily. And especially that moment we talked about when the climb has fallen off and they wanna quickly get back on the route, that's gonna be harder. I think the sweet spot is round about 9.1, so that's worth bearing in mind. Now I haven't put a thick old rope in this yet, so if you have and you found that to be a problem, let me know what you think in the comments below. Cool, right, let's sum this thing up. Cheers, Joe. Okay, so let's sum this up. This really is simple and easy to use. In fact, I just gave it to Joe and he belayed me up the wall and his exact words were, I didn't really believe you when you were talking about it, but having used it, I see what you mean. And that's the thing with this. It's so intuitive. You put it in, you climb, you give slack, no problems. Whereas with the Grigri, you do need to think about it a little bit more and it can get fiddly. Now, I know there's gonna be people saying, well, you just need to get used to the Grigri and if you're an expert climber, it doesn't make a difference. And I totally agree with you. It kind of comes down to personal preference. If you like giving slack with Grigri, then cool, stick with it. But if you are looking for a more ATC style device that still assists you for braking, the ClickUp is really worth looking for. Now the disadvantages with the click up, one I've kind of talked about, which is that fiddly moment when the climber's trying to pull up slack and you're trying to unlock it and 
that can be difficult, although with practice that becomes easier. Something I've read a lot about the ClickUp is a heat issue, and this is something I haven't really experienced because I haven't been using it long enough. But that because of the way it works with the friction, the carabiner gets very hot, and you can feel that when you've lowered the climber down. And I've read on forums that it can wear through the carabiner a little bit quicker than normal. Now on that heat note, I've also read that abseiling on the ClickUp isn't the best idea because of that increased friction and heat through the device. I haven't put that to the test yet, so again, if you have, comment below and let me know what you think. Also, the ClickUp won't be as useful in a system as the Grigri. So if you're rope soloing or you're doing more complex rope method things, the Grigri is probably a bit more versatile like that. that. But, and here's the crux of the whole thing, when I go sport climbing, I don't tend to be abseiling, I don't tend to be building it into a system, I'm just using my belay device for belaying sport climbing. And for that, I'm getting kind of convinced by the ClickUp, and I didn't think I would when I started this. I didn't see the point, I just wanted to stick with my Grigri, -gri, but I get it. It's really easy, it's really quick, it feels really good, lowering off is simple, giving slack is simple, and the whole thing just feels nice and easy. Would I pack this instead of a Grigri? -gri? I don't know, and I think that might just be force of habit. But certainly this is going to continue to be tested by me, so I can let you know in a couple of months what I think of it. And as usual, let me know what you think of it. Would you buy a click up over a Grigri? -gri? Do you think the things I've talked about today are complete rubbish? Let me know. There's links in the description to the click up to the Grigri, -gri, so you can find out a bit more information about them and buy one if you want on the Epic TV shop. And that's kind of it, I think. Joe's looking like he needs another belay, so I'm going to head off. Uh, have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon.